We appreciate uh, the hearing today. As you've said, this is a longstanding bipartisan tradition of this committee to check in ahead of flu season and find out where we stand and continue to support innovation in this space and other uh, medical device space and, and uh, prescription drug space and the whole thing. Uh, when we're trying to find cures to diseases, um, we're all on board. So every year, millions of Americans put themselves at an increased risk of getting the flu because they don't get the flu vaccine. Just for the record, I have. Um, I'm not a big guy on shots, but I, I you know, I, I do it every year, and I'm glad I do. They also, people who don't, though, are increasing the risk that individuals who cannot be vaccinated, including young children who are not old enough to get the flu vaccine, will get the flu. So if you've not gotten the flu vaccine yet this year, I, I'm, I'm, I spent a night or two in a Holiday Inn, so I'm going to play doctor here. Go get the flu vaccine. Um, if, if they shouldn't, I'll let our panel uh, of, of real live doctors uh, uh, counter me on that, but I think that'd be your counsel to all of us as well. If you think you may have the flu, please go see your doctor. There are antivirals available to reduce the symptoms you experience with the flu and shorten the duration of the flu. It's great advances there. Our senior citizens are the group at greatest risk of serious flu-related complications. According for, to the uh, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, People 65 years of age and older account for about 70 to 85 percent of seasonal flu-related deaths in recent years and between 50 to 70 percent of seasonal flu-related hospitalizations. Seniors can get the regular flu shot or one of the two flu shots that are specifically designed for people 65 years of age or older, the high-dose flu vaccine and the adjuvanted, ad adjuvanted I'll get that uh, flu vaccine. I, along with some of my fellow uh, Republican members of the committee, sent a letter to the director of the CDC last February about improving flu vaccination coverage for seniors. We asked whether a preferential recommendation from CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, ACIP, for vaccinating adults 65 years of age and older with a high dose or an ad adjuvanted um, influenza vaccine could reduce deaths and hospitalizations or even improve vaccination coverage. CDC told us they did not believe that there was adequate information on these vaccines to rise to a level of ACIP uh, making a preferential recommendation. Given what appears to be substantial evidence substantiating superior effectiveness for seniors with each of these alternatives compared to the standard dose flu vaccine, and the preferential recommendations from other respected foreign health authorities for one of these alternatives, I do want to explore the reasons for CDC's hesitancy about supporting preferential recommendation when it appears there's real reason to believe it could help save lives. I'm also looking forward to hearing more about research efforts to improve the flu vaccine and hopefully develop a universal flu vaccine. A universal flu vaccine would provide long-lasting protection against multiple seasonal and pandemic flu viruses, and I expect Dr. Fauci will uh, update us on HHS's progress in implementing the strategic plan for a universal influenza vaccine that was first published in February of 2018. Now, the President's recent executive order promotes the development of better flu vaccines, and I support uh, its emphasis on the need to modernize the manufacturing process for the flu vaccine. The current egg-based manufacturing process that's used for most flu vaccine doses administered in the United States takes about 22 to 24 weeks to produce the flu vaccine. Earlier this year, advisors at the World Health Organization delayed their recommendations for the H3N2 vaccine strain to include in the flu vaccine this year by a month. And there were considerable concerns that that delay might adversely affect the vaccine supply at the beginning of this season. Thankfully, the delay did not impact the supply. So I look forward to today's discussion. I hope to hear more about faster and more scalable manufacturing platforms, the role of antiviral drugs to mitigate the severity of the flu, and the concern over possible drug-resistant flu strains. With that, I would yield the balance of my time to the gentlelady from Indiana.